Hello YouTube, this is fun. I got another video for you. This one is another OBS 27, kind of a pre-tutorial because you know the public version of OBS 27 is not yet out. The release candidate's out. You can go to the website, download the release candidate, give this a shot. Of course it is in beta, so beware. Uh, I wouldn't definitely would not stream with it, but you can try this stuff out. But I want to talk about source transitions. That's what this video is going to cover. So number one, I want to show you what shorts transitions are. Number two, I want to show you a couple different ways that you can use them in your live stream to bring your production value up for your viewers. So let's go ahead and get into the video after a word from our sponsor, ExpressVPN. Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN, the number one VPN provider in the world that gives you 100% privacy on your internet. Enjoy blazing fast speeds, DDoS protection, and unrestricted access for the ultimate gaming experience. You can get a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. It is easy to set up. Simply sign up for ExpressVPN, connect to the VPN servers in one of the 160 global locations to reduce ping and lag while gaming online, and play your games with ultra-fast speeds the best in class security and no geographical restrictions. It allows you to go incognito, unlike the incognito tabs in your browser, where you can surf and access content that you wanna see without everybody else knowing about it. So check out ExpressVPN, link is in the description below. Okay, so now let's talk about source transitions and what source transitions are. It's actually pretty easy to understand. Simply, it is taking the transitions that are currently built into OBS Studio, this includes Stinger transitions, and instead of applying them to a scene, now you can apply them to a single source. So it's really neat what you can do with this. Now, let me show you something that I've done here. So let me switch you over here to Stream PC. And what I've done, if you look here in the source list for the preview, which is my camera I just showed you, what I've done is I've added an image file, and this is a lower third that I have made with, with some color, you know, backgrounds, and some text. And by going and right clicking, you now have show and hide transition. And you can select any of these from the list, including Stinger. Now I have slide selected here. If you go here, you can do different things to it. Uh, for here, I've got the direction for the show going right. And then for the hide, if you go to the slide, I have it selected going left. That way it slides in from the edge of the scene to the right. And then when I want it to hide it will slide back left back off of the scene simply by clicking the hide icon which is the eyeball you can then bring it in and out which is really cool a nice feature with this also is not only can you use the icon but you can do a hotkey with this or if you have stream deck loop deck touch portal any of those programs which allow you to set program stream keys you can set a button for hiding your animation like this and that's my loop deck i'm using to do this with so it's really neat now think about the fact that you can set up a bunch of, if you're uh, using a pot or making a podcast hosting a podcast and you are going to control all the lower thirds simply by using something like Stream Deck. You can set a full page up if you need those for all of your different graphics for lower thirds, for, you know, say titles of your guests that you're going to have on your podcast, for all of your different topics that you're going to have. You can set a program show and hide for each of those using that Stream Deck, Touch Portal, whatever you have really really nice to be able to do that another thing that you can do and another idea let me show you what i've done here is instead of that i'm going to switch over to my game here i have a you know game running in the background and then i have my webcam all right so you go to your cam here same thing show transition high transition you can set a stinger for show and hide now here what i've done is i've gone and i have actually set the new track mat function 
that is also part of OBS Studio 27. So you can get some of these. There's various things you can actually go and make these yourself if you have the ability through After Effects, something like that, or there's going to be some other options available soon. I can't really talk about those right now, but trust me, they'll be available and you can do things like this. So those are really two nice things. I think the webcam being able to make it disappear and make it reappear by controlling your, you know, by controlling it on your stream deck and using lower third graphics for titles, for introducing your guests, for introducing topics. Those are two things I think a lot of people will use for this. With the amount of creativity a lot of you have, I'm sure there's a ton of other things that you will be able to figure out how to do with this. But those are two basic things I just wanted to show you. So again, this will be out here soon, hopefully for public. But if you want to give it a shot now, you can go download the release candidate. It's free. Don't cost a thing, you know. And for the most part, it's actually working pretty well for me. I have found a couple different bugs with it. So for stu if you're in studio mode, you kind of got to be careful with it for certain things. It will not work for like the stinger transitions. I'm having some issues with that in studio mode. But normally in regular uh, program mode you should be able to use them pretty much interchangeably the slides and everything else works great that's really the only difficulty i have seen with these so far but other than that it's really nice a really great feature one of the best features actually that i've seen in a while so anyway i hope you enjoy it guys listen if you like this video make sure you hit like subscribe to this channel and hit that bell for notification 75 percent of you right now do not subscribe to the frugal streamer channel and if you like content like this i'd love to see you come back i am trying to teach you the best ways to save money while having a professional looking live stream and professional sounding live stream so anyway have a great rest of your weekend and i hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you later